let's go take a look at the next uh, set of workspaces that we've got. We're going to go and play with some raster data. So, so this here, is a special PostGIS only. That's right. So this is a different writer. Here we're working with PostGIS raster. So you'll notice over here on my yes. navigator pane, I now have two writers for this workspace. A PostGIS writer that's for my um, 3D data, because 3D we handle just like we handle 2D, so it's yeah. no different. And a raster writer, which is my PostGIS raster. Very similar. They've both got uh, setups for the, for the connection files. And in fact, in this example, I've actually yes. published the password parameter so that I only have to ent enter it once in this workspace, and it works for both of my readers, so or both writers. of my writers. Now, the reason the folks may wonder, why did we do a special writer for the raster? The, the issue is there's just way more and different options. Yeah. And so that was, I'm sure Robin's going to get into that, but yeah, okay, wow, yeah. If so, you take a look down here, we've got just a ton of different constraints that have to do very specifically with raster. So there are, you know, you can use the defaults and reasonable things will happen, but people that um, are hardcore might want to go in and modify those things. Yeah, yeah. So we'll take a look at this. So here I have got um, a... Robin, do you want to just, uh, you can show them the slider for the zoom. Just, you see where I'm pointing up uh -huh. here? Yeah. yeah. And just give it a little bit bigger for the folks at home to see. There we go. Yeah. Good stuff. So we're starting off here with the Mr. Sid file. So that's a... Um, Let's go and just take a look at it. So it's a lizard tech compressed ortho photo. We'll take a look at it, what it looks like. Whoa. So here it is. Um, beautiful photograph of yeah. uh, an area in Austin. And so we're going to load that up into our PostGIS. Now one of the settings on our PostGIS writer had to do with the size, the maximum number of bytes per raster. Ah. And when I went to load the Mr. Sid file in, Mr. Sid's a compressed format, so yes. it blew this thing up into this huge, enormous raster. And we write rasters as blob elements. Yes. So we have a, a sort of a which I could have done to yeah. fit that entire author photo into. I decided I'd tile it up. So I used a raster tiler to break it up into three by three, three. By three so that I had smaller tiles to go into my uh, database. And this is something you could play with yourself and figure out what to do. Then I had to, once I decided to break them up, then I realized I was going to have to write them into different tables. So I was using a string oh. concatenator to build up the name of the okay. table that yeah. it's going to go into. So it'll have the name of the source followed by the tile number followed by the, the row number. And then I, I count them again to give myself a primary ID field. And then on the output, I do this fancy fan app. So you're, my making, table you're making several, you're making a table for each tile? Exactly. Okay. So I was going to make nine tables for my nine tiles and then just make sure that I've actually. We'll have to ask our, our uh, post just experts, uh, the developers, if that's necessary to do. But yeah, we're doing. But, but it is yes. an interesting thing to do. Yeah, of course, we need a different reader yes. because we need to use the post just raster reader. But it's the same setup as the uh, other reader. And we can go and pick oh, a couple I of the see. tiles, right? So here they've come in as different tiles. Right. Uh, we'll pick this one which, as well. Which, as we've mentioned, you someone may choose not to do that, but that's what we've done here. And uh, this will now be pulling them back. Right out of our post just. Maybe I should have picked a few, a uh, little fewer, but. Well, it'll take a moment. Oh, there's yeah, something happening. Come. Yeah. They what it's got to do is it's just got to resample them down into ways there they so come. can view them. So. Yeah, yeah. In any case, yeah. that they, they may or may not have been contiguous ones either. Like you just picked a few. So yeah, now if you I zoom in so. tight here, yeah. right there we go. It'll it'll and just take time. And you can see that it's actually still incredibly good quality. Right. Know? So we haven't lost a lot of um, right quality by breaking them up and no. and uncompressing them. Remember, we had yes. to uncompress them because they were Mr. Sid. That, that's the so. key thing. Yeah. Okay. 